it is a television axiom to not overhype the introduction to a story, lest the subsequent footage be anticlimactic for the viewer. But in some cases, like this, the revelations contained within are so compelling you can make the musical score build as dramatically as you like and the typeface really big. In Secrets of the Freemasons, Exposed. In fact, make Exposed bigger. Make it, make it flash. It is a secret society that goes back hundreds of years with secret handshakes, rituals and ceremonies. Recently, an Anglican church in New South Wales had expelled Freemasons, saying their practices were incompatible with Christianity. I needed to find out more. My friend Dave O'Neill's father was a Freemason. Every week before his Freemason meeting, he lawn bowls, and he said I could catch up with him. So apparently, one of the uh, passwords when you're shaking the hand is you say, have you been taught to be cautious? So I'll check that out on Kevin. I've been taught to be cautious. Yes, that's right. Get off the road, we'll get run over. I had heard a rope is placed around the prospective member's neck during the Freemason initiation ceremony. I heard they put like a rope around your neck. No, no, no. All this, all this sort of talk about it, well, it's no different to joining the girl guides of the scouts. You can just confirm or deny these were the rituals. A blindfolded candidate is stripped and dressed in a skirt before having to dance on an electrified carpet. No, no, never. Several members urinate in a bowl within earshot of the candidate, no. who is then handed a bowl of warm water to drink. No, it's all rubbish. Goat riding. No, no. No goat riding? No, no. See, it's so confusing interviewing you because, like, I'll, I'll be asking you, oh, do you yeah. have the rope around the neck, do you have the coat, yeah. and you'll deny it. Yeah. But except I happen to know yeah. that part of your pact with the yeah. Freemasons is to deny it. I had given up on the rope around the neck conspiracy when... What, what's, what's that? A case. No, but what, what's like the rope down there? That's for caravanning. That's not here. <laughs> There's nothing to do with... <laughs> You're obsessed with rope. That's scouts. That's a scout what? Rope. What? Scout that's rope. That's coincidental, though. <laughs> you're going to a Freemason thing, you've got to... And that's nah. just kind of something that looks like a gown. <laughs> that's, that's nothing to do with... Nothing. Keep trying, John. Uh, you're on the wrong track. For the first time on television, the Freemason rope, or scout rope, exposed. Anti-Freemasons accuse Masons of engaging in sinister favouritism of fellow members. I was able to back up this claim when I uncovered this ad in the Freemason Victoria newsletter. 5% off the total bill at Leo's Spaghetti Bar when the Masonic MasterCard is presented to pay. You get a 5% discount because you're a Freemason from Leo's yeah, Spaghetti Guard. That's good. Mm. Why should you get 5% off when I don't, just because you're a Freemason? You don't think the Freemasons no. are getting unfair advantage? No. Well, what about the RACV? Here at Leo's Spaghetti Guard. Football Club? What about the Collingwood Football Club? Well, they're as sinister as the Freemasons, I'll admit that. I read in um, 1826 that Captain William Morgan mm -hmm. was kidnapped and killed by Freemasons because he, he was about to reveal the secrets. No, not true. So yeah. the American one dollar bill and it looks innocent enough, but you join together the M-A-S-O-N, Mason, here the pyramid, and you get a satanic pentagram. This supposedly proves that the Freemasons are satanic, because that's no. a satanic <laughs> pentagram. M-A-S-O-N. You could make it go S-C-O-U-T, scout or something. It is a bit suspicious. Anybody can draw a few lines on a piece of paper. This is a map of Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah. And Where's if you join the, the White House, yeah. and they're all Freemason temples, and if you join them together, once again, it forms a satanic pentagram. I mean, you can argue with me, but you can't argue with this cartography. The owner of Leo's Spaghetti Bar, Tony, who, using freedom of information no, legislation, I, I was able to uncover as a Freemason, approached the table. Feel free to give each other the secret handshake if you want. Don't worry, I'll close my eyes. No, we don't need oh, that. I see, so you've got all a right. Freemason oh, okay. MasterCard. They run the banking system it's there. as well. It's on I the banking you, system. I know. Have you been okay. taught to be cautious? Yes. We've got to move, mate. Yeah, for sure. I've got to go. I've got to go to Ringwood Lodge. Nice to meet you. Okay. Then when I least expected it. Oh my god, you're gonna get the handshake, the handshake, the handshake, handshake. Okay, we're going. For the first time on television, the secret handshake exposed. We were back at Kevin O'Neill's house to pick up his regalia for his Freemason ceremony. That's my apron. 
which you wear when you go into the temple. While he was happy to show me the apron, I felt it was a diversion tactic. He appeared to have also picked up a pair of white gloves he was less willing to disclose. What gloves you have there? No, they're just white gloves that I had from the Air Force. Where, where have they gone? You had little white gloves. I don't know, they're there. Well, they're just from the Air Force and you can show me again. No, no, they're in gloves. Hey, Jermaine, the cameraman, did you see where those white gloves went? Yeah, they're just on the floor. They're Masonic gloves, aren't they? Air Force gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look at them. No, no, Why not? Cars. No, oh, they're driving. Oh, it's okay, we'll get this. <laughs> this is it. Oh, cool. I'll catch you later. Like. Oh, we just need to take the microphone oh, shit, off here. Oh, shit, we're going to take the mic. The white Masonic gloves exposed. <laughs> see, Kevin. What I saw behind that door was shocking. I've had an illustrator reproduce what I witnessed. Kevin O'Neill with a rope around his neck, spanking a goat in a pentagram as a horse urinated on an electrified carpet while nine clansmen formed a pyramid beneath the all-seeing eye.